The dogs and I are at Ellis Island. Hard to believe that uh, a couple of weeks ago, this whole place was underwater. You couldn't even get to this island. And uh, it was underwater for four weeks. So the dogs and I are happy to be here finally. Get to go for a walk. Got my foster boy, my three legged foster boy with us. And uh, so we're going to explore. It seems like um, after four weeks of this area being flooded, um, it's much the same, but there have been small changes. All right, guys. Yeah, I was here the other day and he got tangled up in some brush and I went to get him untangled and I fell backwards and uh, when I got up I looked at my calf, the back of my calf, and there was a, a twig, where I thought was a twig, and I pulled it out and I must have pulled out about an inch. That was kind of freaky. Alright guys. Queenie went for a little dip in the Mississippi. I don't think Silo's gonna go. And Ollie, he was sick all night last night. Silly dogs to keep an eye on them all the time. There were some people fishing down here one day. Dogs are scavengers. We want to pick something up and eat it. Oh man. It's really a nice day. Except it's about 83. To me that's hot. So Oh, darn. I'm getting caught up here. Sorry. Yes, I have him on a very long leash because it gives him some freedom. What are you doing? Spit that out! Okay, hold on. Hmm. I guess those people that were fishing down here the other day cleaned their fish and left pieces. Uh-oh. That looks like a whole dead fish there. So, we might have to go back up further on the trail. There's the dam over there, the lock and dam. I still like this place. There's the bridge. There's the little river town that I live in. Over there is, uh, oh, it used to be Conagra. Before that, it was PV. We always just called it the flour mill. My stepdad worked there. My stepbrother worked there. My first husband worked there. So, oh, and my best friend's husband worked there for a long time. It's a beautiful sky. All right, we're gonna have to go up on the main trail because this boy won't stop eating stuff. So yeah, I was saying he was sick all last night. We were up at 1 a.m. letting him go out. He had runs, but he also had a distressing, a distressful tummy. So he was doing a lot of whining and he he couldn't relax. And uh, I went up to his vet this morning and got him some antibiotics. Think they think he has some kind of a stomach thing going on. Hey buddy, you wanna go back up on the trail now and stop eating stuff? He's supposed to eat and drink lightly today. 
hate it when any of my animals are sick. <sighs> there would normally be a lot of vegetation here, but since it was underwater for four months, that kind of killed off stuff. And I noticed that there was an area that had a lot of cactus growing in it, and the cactus has all died. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about a video that I put out. Uh, I'm not going to name the person's name, but she's a really nasty, wicked YouTuber. And she thought that being swatted is funny as long as it doesn't happen to her. Well, it did happen to her. Somebody hates her so much that they found out her address where she lived and called the police and said there was a murder suicide at her residence. So a whole bunch of policemen showed up and uh, went searching through her house with their guns drawn and flashlights on. And um, so she's got like all kinds of people feeling sorry for her. They're just all feeling so sorry for her, which no, nobody should be swatted. It's a, it's an easy way to, I mean, so many things could go wrong. You could sh shoot your dog, or, you know, even a person could have got shot. Her brother is really anti-police, and so if he would have been there, something probably would have happened. Luckily, he's a truck driver, and he was on the road. Um... So, anyway, this person gossips and gossips, and her live streams are toxic. And the people that come to them are just, they're just there to gossip about people and say evil, horrible things. And, um, so I don't know who swatted her, but... You can almost say that if anybody deserved it, she did. I mean, I'm sorry. I'd never do it to anyone. And so they keep accusing this person. They keep saying that they're definitely sure that she did it. But there's no proof. And until they have proof, they should just shut up. Anyway, the day after it happened, she posted up a video. I mean, this woman's bipolar, and she posts four and five videos a day and spends four and five hours in live streams just about every night. And, but yet, she claims that she's on her medication. She takes lithium. And I think it's given her tardive kinesia or something, or tardive dyskinesia, because her eyes look really weird and the one twitches a lot. Um, but I mean, she she can't help that. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say anything bad about that. It's the medication I think that's causing it. Uh, but in that video towards the end, she said that she thought that getting swatted was funny. That she thought that whoever thought it up was just great and that it's funny. Only it's not funny because it happened to her, but if it happened to someone else, <laughs> she would laugh. And so I, I took a snippet of that little section there and made my own video and I put that in there. And she struck me for copyright. 
so YouTube is taking it down but out of her half an hour video I used about two minutes and I'm fighting the copyright strike because I don't think I did anything wrong I mean I'm citing the fair use the fair use doctrine as defense so she has struck me for copyright YouTube took the video down but I'm also saying that I have a right to do that under the fair use doctrine so I'm fighting it so people if I get swatted in the near future and granted I won't have any proof but it'll either be from her or one of her minions and uh, I'm not worried about my foster dog Ollie here and I'm not worried about Queenie my Australian Shepherd but Silo she might she might get shot by a cop if they just bust in so from now on I'm going to have to sleep light and I'm going to have to keep a leash handy so that I can secure her because if the police shot and killed my girl I don't know what I'd do I do not know what I'd do my dogs are everything to me they are my best friends So anyway, that's what the situation is going on now. Uh-oh, girl. Okay, let me put this on hold. Okay, well, I almost didn't bring Queenie on this walk because she's having problems with her hips and um, she's 14 years old. And she's way overweight, so she does need to exercise so she can lose some of the fat and to be easier on her joints. But she almost couldn't make it across that one tree limb there. Here's another one. There she goes. She she did okay. Sometimes she has troubles getting back in the van too. Oh. Getting old is not for wussies. Not even in the animal world. Okay. So as you can see, when the floodwaters went down, quite a bit of debris was left on the trail. Um, this up here I'm probably going to have to help Queenie with, so I'll put this on hold. Alright, we're on the other side of the island now. Looks like there's a little bit of bank, but I don't think you can trust it to walk on it because it's deceiving. It's not, it hasn't dried out enough to be safe. I went down to the water with the dogs one day and man sunk up to my ankles. It was not nice. Looks like they're pumping some water out of one side and into the other. So this is the area where I saw the little red fox one day. Anyway, guys, since it's so hot, I should have got an earlier start, but actually I was so tired from being up with Ollie being sick, and then I had to go and uh, run up to the vet, and so it's like 83 now, and I don't want to get him too tired. So we're going to turn around here. 
You be alright with that, Queenie? Is that fine with you? Yeah, I think she's ready to head back home. Um, I've gotten some new subscribers. And I just want to say thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Normally, it's a pretty peaceful, uh, no drama channel. Um, I don't really like to get mixed up in drama, but sometimes you see things happening that are just evil in your mind. And, and I will go into further about some of the things that she says when I say she has toxic live streams. I will delve into that a little bit more and explain myself. I don't make it my business to just like choose somebody and then you know say bad things about them. I've got like 180 videos and maybe once I complained about a, Wal a Walmart employee and then another time I complained about a YouTuber who has a uh, nomad channel because he's always so negative but I mean it wasn't really anything drastic I just don't I don't get into I don't like drama and I want this to be an uplifting fun channel I love nature I love taking my dogs on walks and I hope to be traveling soon so this is the area that I was talking about that used to have a lot of cactus in. They've pretty much died off. Maybe some of them will come back eventually. I think there was too many of them anyway. Maybe the animals liked eating them. They do get pretty yellow flowers. But other than that, their stickers are awful. They um, they don't look that bad, but they they're very fine, and they come off in your fingers and like little little tiny slivers of glass. Oh man! We're just taking a little, taking it easy here, a little bit in the shade. We're not very far from where the van's parked. And the rangers, the park rangers have been looking for any signs of wildlife that's come back to the island. They had uh, set a trap out in one area. At least I guess it was them. Um, I haven't seen that much. I mean, I've seen evidence that deer have been here and... Um, Probably maybe muskrats or something because I've seen fresh, fresh paw prints, fresh, fresh tracks. Come on here. Come on back here. Come on back here. There he's eating grass. Well, at least I know this grass has not been treated with any chemicals. I think dogs eat grass when their stomachs are giving them problems. So it's kind of normal. Um, if anybody knows any different, any better, or any reason why I shouldn't let him eat it, let me know. Queenie can't wait to get back home. Yeah, she's just going to sit down there and take a rest. That's a good girl. You can rest. We don't have to be in a hurry. It's one of the good things about being retired. Oh, and today is the first, so it's payday. Yay. And then around the third Wednesday of the month, I get another payday. So, I feel very blessed. Yeah. Like I was saying, taking a little rest, and he looks like he's getting worn out, so he needs a rest. 
Would you believe I can I can pick him up and carry him for a short distance? And he's 62 pounds. Last time he was at the vet, he might be even more now. Ah. I've been doing really good on staying on keto and not doing any binges. I'm surprising myself. I might be... Oh, the last time I weighed was last week and I was at 205. Um, but I might have lost even more. I'm not sure. It doesn't come off as easily as it used to when I was younger. I'll tell you that much. But I do like eating keto foods. Oh, I can hear the birds singing. It's a beautiful sound to me. I don't need all the sounds of the city. Just give me nature and I'm happy. I would so love to have a cabin in the woods with no neighbors around. I looked at a few of them. Just don't have the money. Oh well, I know I said this before, but see, we gotta keep on walking that way on the road and it curves a little and then right around the bend is the parking lot. And we'll be getting in the van and going home, sitting in the air conditioning. Yeah, that is one thing I would miss if I lived in an, in uh, my van. I would have to figure out some way to get some kind of air conditioning. <laughs> Man, you think about our ancestors, and they were really hardy. And here we are, kind of soft, and saying that we can't do without our air conditioning. Oh well, guys. Bye-bye.